Today in the news, we had a stand up on Siblings Day. Emery with more on the Naval Nuclear Program. There's a challenge that a quick originated bit about on the social media challenge. in which people. We also have a. Uh, we are also wrapping up the bracket challenge. Howdy. And I'm Tana. Let's get right into the news. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Today is Siblings Day. Let's go talk to Kyle, who has some more information on it. Today is Siblings Day. Let's go talk to some siblings. Do you guys like each other? Sometimes she's quite annoying. Most times, but sometimes she's okay. No, he's annoying. Well, you know, it's family, but sometimes I just really want to punch her in the face. No, I don't like him. Some days. No, not one bit. Not one bit. What's your guys' favorite memory together? Going on trips with my grandma. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'd say that too. But um, my favorite memory, it's kind of bad. He whacked me with a shovel in the knee when we were little, so. Well, I know one time we were going to Nationals. We had this other family, and we were like having like a music video type battle, and we really kind of went off there. Yeah, I was just, I agree with her. When I hit him in the face with a golf club. Yeah, that one really hurt, but I don't know. I don't have good memory. Oh, I also pushed him off the top bunk, and he also stuck a Lego up his nose once. Do you guys share anything in common? Well, yeah, she really she has some really big feet. So do I. <laughs> we both play sports. Oh yeah, one more thing. We also have decent sized foreheads. <laughs> oh, we're both ugly. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Um, we play soccer, but he has more friends than me, so probably not. Uh, I like my rights. She doesn't like him. Well, that was interesting. Now back to your anchors. Pretty cool. Make sure to be nice to your siblings. Now on with the rest of your announcements. Seniors, if you want to speak at graduation, please sign up on Schoology. Today is the deadline for any student interested in being a Spirit Club officer for next year. Make sure to get your applications to Miss Guys. Students interested in driver's education can now enroll online on the high school webpage. The cost is 175 bucks. For more information, see Mr. Tinsley. Friday is the application deadline to apply for the Sunrise Optimist Scholarships for three seniors. Applications should be returned to Mrs. Ross in the counseling office. We're going to go to, we're going to, go to Emory for more on the Naval Nuclear Program presentation tomorrow. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Kuhn, and he's going to talk to us about the Naval Nuclear presentation tomorrow. So, what is the presentation? Uh, the, uh, the Navy operates uh, more reactors than, than anybody in the entire world. Uh, they've been operating reactors for probably 40 years or more uh, without an accident. And uh, the Navy's always looking for new people to operate those reactors. I operated a reactor when I was in the Navy. And so they're going to come out and, and speak about engineering opportunities in the, in the Navy. Uh, when is the presentation? The presentation is Thursday, uh, second hour and fourth hour in my room. Uh, who is it for? It's for anybody that's interested in uh, engineering or maybe you're thinking about a, a career in the military. Uh, I only spent six years active duty, um, then I became a teacher. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in hearing more about it, um, try and come on down to my room. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, it, it's usually a really good presentation, really informative. Um, I think everybody will like it. Right. Thanks, Mr. Kuhn. Make sure to check it out if you're interested. Now back to your anchors. The Drive Out Hunger Car Show will be held in the South Parking Lot on Saturday, April 27th from 1 to 3. Please see Mr. Collins or Mrs. Miller for a registration. Several of our groups have been competing lately and have done very well. We have had many people place well at the music festival. We also had FCCLA compete at state and place very well, as well as forensics placing well at their last meet of the year. Good job, Bikes. The following students have been selected as this week's safe winners. Desiree Carlisle, Trey Burkett, and Aiden Norris. Thank you for pledging to always wear your seatbelts. Stop by the security office to pick up the prize. Keisha would like to inform schools within the Topeka area of some unique and exciting summer employment opportunities for high school students. To learn more, go to Schoology for a link to learn more. 
If you plan on attending prom or afterglow, make sure to have your student ID. You need it to get in. If you need to get a new one, go see the nice ladies in the library to help you. Also, make sure your date has their ID as well. The NCAA tournament has ended. Let's go talk to Mason and Ike for some more information. Somewhat of a song expert and host of the world famous Guess the Song, Ethan Guzman has hidden small rectangular shaped pieces of cardboard around the school. If you were one of the lucky contestants that returns one of these cards to him, you can be in the next Guess the Song. So start hunting. The Junction City Home JV baseball game was moved to today. JV track is in is in action tonight at Shawnee Heights. And Girls Swim is at Manhattan. Tonight is the Seaman Invitational for tennis as well. Good luck to all of those competitors tonight. Reminder that the Viquette Dance Team tryouts and clinics are this week. There's been a small change. Today there will be a clinic in the North Gym from 3.30 to 5. Thursday's clinic time has been changed and will run from 4.30 to 6 in the North Gym. Then tryouts begin at 3.30 on Friday in the Multipurpose Room. Please remember that all teacher recommendation forms need to be turned in ASAP. Girls interested in volleyball, remind your parents of the inform informational parent meeting tomorrow in the Commons at 6. Ike's going to join me real quick to wrap up the bracket challenge. Over here. Hey, Mike's. Man, if you didn't watch those last three games, you missed out. Oh, yeah. Texas Tech's defense was on full display against the Spartans, which clearly showed they deserved a shot at the championship. And, of course, Auburn just had to foul Kyle Guy at the last second of all people. During the championship, Texas Tech wouldn't stay down twice. They were down by 10, but they clawed their way into overtime where Virginia's best players were able to shine. The refs did play an integral part in that yeah. game, I agree. Well, we have our three winners, Weatherman Josh Duncan coming in at third place. Eddie Roman with the runner-up spot, and Kyle Berry won out first place. Wait, oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Kyle Berry's father won our SVTV bracket challenge. Well, I had fun. Yeah, it was good fun, yes, yes it was. Thanks for all those who participated, and we'll have another bracket challenge next spring. Tanner's going to have the weather after the break. What's up, Vikes? Josh isn't here today, so I'm going to do your weather for you. All right. Today, we hit all the way up to 78 degrees. I think that's pretty chill. Now, tonight, we're going to dig a little lower, back in 56. Your three-day forecast, with the highs in the middle to lower 50s, and your lows all the way back down to the lower to mid 30s. Having a little bit of chill. That's all we got for today. Now back to your anchors. We have a segment about the Florida Man Challenge. Augie will take it from here. Hey Vikes, you may have heard about the Florida Man Challenge that's been going around the internet lately. Let's go learn more about it. The Florida Man Challenge is a challenge that originated on social media in which people Google their birthday and the phrase Florida Man and see what stories pop up. For example, my birthday is on December 24th, so when I googled Florida Man December 24th, I got Time Traveling Florida Man Crashes Car Into Building. We talked to several students and teachers to find out what their Florida Man story was. My birthday is September 22nd. Florida Man Rides Manatee, dares police to arrest him, gets arrested. Nice. <laughs> My birthday is May 24th. Okay, armed Florida man yells, get out of my country to two McDonald's customers. November 15th. Florida woman stabs husband with sword. January 26th. Florida man finds a World War II grenade, places it in his truck, and drives to Taco Bell. Okay, so my birthday is August 6th. Florida man on Flocka thinks he's possessed, strips naked, and disrupts traffic walking north. Be sure to go look up your own Florida man story. This is Augie Chappa signing out for SVTV. Mine was Florida man builds mother of Satan bomb, gets caught. <laughs> Try this one. Mine was Florida man makes beer run with a gator in hand. I think those are pretty funny. I have nothing more to inform you of today. Goodbye. Tomorrow we have a story about Miss Hire to bar departure. Have a good one.